What up, Doe Connors? Global has finally achieved it. We got top grossing in the game and we are earning 100 Dragonstones. So let's take a look at what's going on here. Let's take a look at the numbers and how does this compare to JP? Because it is exactly as I had predicted. They have decided to fudge with the numbers a little bit to uh, justify giving us the same amount of stones. So we are getting 100 Dragonstones for top grossing. Thank you for your support. Uh, Dragon Ball Dokkan Battle has received number one in top grossing in the Apple App Store in nine regions, nine different regions to achieve, uh, to celebrate achieving this first place. We're going to be giving rewards. Belgium, France, Hong Kong, Italy, Luxembourg, Macau, Spain, Switzerland, and the United States. All of these regions hit number one in the App Store. And as a result, we're going to be getting 100 Dragonstones, a bunch of orbs, character slots, diamond Hercule statues, 80, uh, 8th anniversary coins, and a sticker. So let's unpack this for a minute. First of all, we did not hit top grossing in all categories on all nine regions. In fact, we only hit four because of the charts. We actually took a look at the numbers in the charts a couple days ago. And as we saw, France, Hong Kong, Luxembourg, and Macau were the only regions to hit number one in all categories. But like I've said before, they have been known to fudge around with the numbers a little bit to give the illusion of the success to justify giving more stones to each, you know, to various versions, depending on whatever the situation is. The reason why they're doing that this time is because if you go back to JP's top grossing situation, they actually had two separate instances of the top grossing. And as you can see, this is the illustration that they gave the global side. So they're kind of leaning towards this one a little bit more. But JP's top grossing gave them 30 dragon stones for hitting number one in the Apple App Store. Oh wait, oops, let me show this in English. In the Apple App Store, they hit a uh, top grossing, so they got 30 Dragonstones and change. And then just a day later, they received another top grossing for getting number one on both platforms, Android and Apple. So both resulted in getting another 100 stones, which means JP received 130 stones between two social media or two extra rewards. Global, having only reached four categories or four regions in all categories, would only be due 30 Dragonstones at most, leaving a gaping hole for 100 Dragonstones. And if we look at the Android side over the last few days, it ain't looking so good. Android typically doesn't do very well just because it's now been nine years into the game. The, you know, the market's oversaturated with a bunch of different apps, all of these new music apps and TikTok and all these different things. It's always taken over, right? So July 6th, nothing. That was before the anniversary. July 7th is when the anniversary started. But when it comes to Android, it's tallied a little bit differently. It takes a little bit longer. So if you look at July 8th, we still don't see a whole lot, but we see a lot of green, which means, you know, Dokkan did relatively better. We have one number one in games in action. That's about it. So the, the hope of Android hitting number one was slim to none, which is why they sort of decided to mess around with the Apple side and give us a bunch of extra regions over here. So four plus one, two, three, four, and five. They literally counted all of the regions that got number one in all games. I, I'm pretty sure. Did they count Italy? Yeah, they did. So they, this is this is what they went by. So nine times seven normally would mean 63 Dragonstones, but they decided to up the ante a little bit because again, they wanted to make it even with JP. So at some point, we will probably receive an extra 30 Dragonstones for some second round of top grossing or perhaps some sort of a thank you reward just for being supporters of Dokkan. So that is why we only received, that's why we received 100 here and a bunch of orbs, which is great. So uh, we can't really complain, but that just sort of explains why this happened the way that it did. Now, that being said, whenever it comes to top grossing, it's always a tradition on the channel to do some summons or actually more specifically to follow the results of the poll. I always throw out a poll whenever there's top grossing and I always ask you guys, should I do it or should I not? And uh, every single time you guys always vote to do it, but I will, I promise you, if you guys vote no, I will not do it. But the, the, <laughs> the voices have spoken, 91% of y'all think I should summon, so I'm going to. So with that said, let's dive back in and let's pick up these rewards and uh oh also the ultimate clash just came out okay uh let's go ahead and do some summons let me pick up all of these as well as my woo very nice and then also let me get my login bonus rewards there's a reason why i'm not picking up all of the event mission rewards over there but um yeah actually here i will do this later on okay so with all of those stones let's go ahead and do some summons shall we let me go here i am gonna do maybe one round of summons I don't know if I want to be doing too many. So I think I'm going to do one round of summons on this banner because um, I like GT more and I would not mind another copy of the Ice and Nova Shenron. Of course, I would much rather go for the main LR, but if I can get the banner unit, that would be nice. Now, typically during top grossing anniversary summons for me, they have generally been pretty successful. 
almost every single time I do a top grossing video during the anniversary, something crazy tends to happen. I think probably the craziest summon that I've ever done was back during five year part two. I did a single multi, just one multi. And I think it was the blue skies or something. So I, oh, okay. I mean, uh, okay. Not a bad start. We're going to be doing a full, full cycle of hello. Good Lord. Do, if we end with a, uh, don't even. Okay. Okay. That is really good. Let's run it back. <laughs> okay. That's, that's a good start. And now we're, we got nothing. Okay. I, I should probably do the, uh, the wheel technique though. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll do it. After this multi, I'll do the wheel technique. The superstition technique. All right, so this one's a whole lot of nothing. Empty summon, no animations. Piccolo. Okay. Not a bad random unfeatured SSR to pick up. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the superstition team. We got the we got the folks right there. So let me let me recalibrate some crack here. We'll go to the LR, and we'll do this. Okay. And then we'll do some of this. Sometimes it happens instantaneously. Sometimes it takes a multi to warm up. Either way, let's see what can happen now that we've done the crack and the freaky wheel. Okay. We might need one more. We're going to need one more try. And I'm also telling you right now, there is a 71% chance I also do a full cycle on the Spirit Bomb Z banner. Let me know in the comments right now if you predict that I will do more summons on the, uh, on the other banner. You could probably tell based on the length of the video, so that's not really much of a prediction, but you know, go ahead. Indulge. Just play my game, you know. Alright, this is this is garbage. Alright. Last multi of the banner. Let's see if we get something good. What are we gonna get? No blue skies. No Beerus and Weiss. And no Zeno. Alright, Holy Trinity is gone. The chances of me getting something good. We might actually, this might be the first video in anniversary history where a top grossing summon doesn't result in me pulling hype. That would be a first and probably something a few of you guys would want to see. So, all right. Well, I mean, that obviously means we got to summon on this banner, right? We, we, we got to, we got to. So we're going to go ahead and do it. Let's see what happens. No crack. I mean, no wheel. We'll just do crack. That's enough. And we'll do one full cycle of this. I'm just going to blitz through it real quick. Blitz through it. I know some of you guys wanted me to do some summons on some recent live streams, but couldn't do it. I was waiting for top grossing. Now that we got top grossing, I'm doing the summons. All right, nothing there. Actually, now that I think about it, oh no. I probably shouldn't have done this. Because now that I do these summons, there's a good chance I could pull another Boo, I mean, uh, Piccolo and Gotenks. And I really don't want them. They are the only unit that is rainbowed in the anniversary selection. The LRs are 90% and the Shenrons are 79%. So actually, I should have gone back and done more GT summons. That was a mistake. You know what? If we get another round of top grossing and I do another video, maybe I'll jump in again and do uh, more summons on GT. Ugh. Ugh. All right, two more. And then after this, we got the freebie. And then, uh, yeah, that will wrap this up. It's, it's looking like a dud for the first time. Oh, wait, maybe I spoke too soon. One, one crack. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Hang on. We still have one more chance after this. Actually, I do have tickets too. I could use the tickets. All right, Goku Vegeta, that's that's what the crack was for. So, yeah, there goes that. All right, so this multi is the last official multi. And then I might have some tickets left over that I could also use. I'll just go ahead and throw those in there as well. Just because, um, you know, when am I going to do more summons? Probably not. No Whis, nothing. I mean, Whis was, yeah, Whis was there, but with a full crowd. I have not had a Whis animation during these anniversary summons. That is oddly unsettling for a whale like me. All right. 
So no hype whatsoever from my summons, but I got some tickets. So we're going to go use said tickets for one more crack at each banner. We'll start with the Spirit Bomb Z. Let's see what we get here. Okay, we got Whis again, flying with a bunch of dudes, which means nothing. So our hopes and dreams rests on Spirit Bomb GT. I will accept the banner unit as hype on the GT banner. If we don't get anything here, which I would assume not. Yes, give me more R's, please. Oh, Gotex, of course. Thank you. All right, so uh, this is my final summon. Let me do one last, one last round of crack on this one. Seriously? I can't do crack anymore? There we go. The crack was broken. All right, final multi. Maybe ever. And nothing. Stupid Whis. All right, no Zeno. If we don't get the Whis animation, it's all up to RNG, which will probably be nothing. So there you go. I'm happy with my summons, though. I'm only doing this for, you know, for, for the sake of the tradition. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with my summons. I don't need to rainbow these guys, really. It's not that big a deal to me. Oh, I was hoping to get the Shenrons. Did I do the singles? I'll do this one. One single. Three units? Hold on a minute. All right, folks, that is going to be it. I will do the rest of these. Take, you know what? No, no, no. I'm, I'm going to do it now. I'm going to do it now. I'm going to finish out these these singles. The, you never know, right? I'd rather get it on video. Yeah, it's going to drag out the video, but whatever. It's it's for the best. I'm not doing any more summons. Okay. Just a few more. Oh, Vegeta. Oh, oh, I thought we were going to fuse. The last time I pulled a single on an anniversary was two years ago. But I did it every single year that I played the game up until last year. Year four, pulled a Vegeta on a single. Year five, pulled both Gogeta and Vegeta on a single. Year six, I think I pulled Ultra Instinct on the single. I don't remember. Year seven, it didn't happen. Could it happen here? And the last two, let's round this out. Let me know in the comments what your guys' summons are, because I know some of you guys were looking forward to these top grossing stones. You're probably very pleasantly surprised at the amount that we're getting. 70 more than you might have guessed based on my video in the past. So let me know what sort of summons he did, what sort of results he got, or if you're just saving for something else, how many stones do you have? And for the final summon on the banners for the part one, what do we got? Yeah, nothing. Okay. If this ends up being the LR, I'm going to end the video screaming. It won't. Okay. Yep, so this is my first official dud on a top grossing summoning video. I am, uh, I am pleasantly surprised. But there you have it. Top grossing global wins. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments how many stones do you have right now if you didn't use them for summons. If you did use them for summons, then what sort of pulls did you get? Were you happy? Were you sad? Did you finally get what you're looking for? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more dope content in the future and click the notification bell so that you let YouTube know when to see more of my stuff. Do it. Thanks again. Stay tuned and I'll return to Dokkan responsibly.